as you know, and I'm sure you've heard all day long, Ukrainian President Zelensky addressed the U.S. Congress today via live stream. And his appeal was direct and in opposition to what the leadership of this country feels capable of offering. Um, Zelensky cited Pearl Harbor and the terror attacks of September 11th, 2001, in his appeal to the U.S. Congress to do more to help Ukraine fight Vladimir Putin. Um, among other things, Zelensky said the U.S. has got to sanction Russian lawmakers, individuals, block imports into that country. And he showed the, the audience, the auditorium, the packed auditorium in, in, I guess it was in the U.S. House chambers, all these American lawmakers, he showed them an emotional video of the destruction and the devastation that Ukraine has suffered and continues to suffer. And Zelensky said, quote, we need you right now. I call on you to do more, end quote. But what Zelensky needs is not going to happen, is it? It just isn't. Um, when he called for more economic pressure, on the Russians, Zelensky said, quote, peace is more important than income, end quote. Well, yeah, not to capitalists, not, not to the governing economic principles uh, that run the horror that is the economic, global economic policy on this planet. Peace is not more important than income. But I appreciate what Zelensky said, and, and I, I, I completely agree. I'm just saying from a cynical point of view, and that point of view is rooted in reality, peace is not more important than income. Um, he got standing ovations by U.S. lawmakers before and after he made his pitch. Standing ovations, which do nothing for the families being butchered in the various cities in Ukraine. It does nothing for the children being blown to pieces, the men and women being blown to pieces, nothing. Standing ovation, nothing. Absolutely nothing. He, uh, he begged once again the United States to, his words, close the sky to stop these Russian airstrikes that are devastating his country and his people. And that's where Zelensky is at odds with President Biden. Biden will not provide a no-fly zone. Biden will not allow the transfer of military jets from neighboring Poland because... Biden is trying to avoid, as he said a couple of times now, World War III. I am not at this moment criticizing Biden. I, I'm starting to come down from the adrenaline rush that I've had that tells me the invaders have got to be killed. Putin has got to be killed. I still believe, I still wish the son of a bitch would keel over with some kind of a heart attack or blood clot in his brain. But I understand that we are on the cusp, and it may already have begun, the cusp of, of World War III. All it's going to take at this point, with, with one nuclear power actively attacking a country that did nothing to it, and, and having a dozen other nuclear countries observing this, watching this, measuring this, it puts us so close to what would be just a total wipeout of, of life on this planet. I've been told and, and I've read that if and when a nuclear exchange begins between whomever, 
it won't stop. Once it starts, it won't stop until there's nothing left to destroy. Um, Biden then delivered, and I haven't heard it, his own address after Zelensky's speech. But I know, according to press reports, he was expected to announce an additional almost a billion dollars in security assistance to Ukraine. Um, um, which I'm sure will help. I mean, it all helps. It helps the, uh, the merchants of death. It helps the people who manufacture weapons of killing, murder, destruction. Will it help the people of Ukraine? I guess we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Um, now, Zelensky apparently uh, is, is no stranger to the U.S. Congress. He played a central role in the Orange Vomit's first impeachment. If you remember, that filthy pig Trump was accused of withholding security aid to Ukraine because he wanted Zelensky to, to get into the hog shit where Trump lives and dig up political dirt on, on, on Biden. And Zelensky spoke on that giant screen today to many of the same Republican lawmakers who declined to impeach or convict Trump. But those are the same filthy, goddamn, rotten, fascist Christian Americans who are begging for military aid, screaming for it to Ukraine. I mean, the hypocrisy in, on so many levels, not just here, but globally, is one of the things that's driving me insane. Maybe you feel it too. I don't mean actively gibbering a rubber bungalow crazy. I'm just talking about this, this rat's nest of vibrations that are going on inside your head. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Or is that, no, it's not just me. Of course, it's not just me. Are you kidding me? not knowing what to do, you know, tilting this way and then tilting that way. Um, he invoked Shakespeare's, uh, one of his heroes last week when he asked the British House of Commons whether Ukraine is, quote, to be or not to be. Hmm. And on Tuesday, he appealed to the Canadian Parliament and Prime Minister Trudeau. He called on European Union leaders at the start of the war to do the politically unthinkable, I guess, and that was to fast track Ukraine's membership. And he has continued, Zelensky has, to push for more, more help to save the, the, the struggling democracy in his country than, than world leaders have so far, uh, so far pledged to do. He, he, he is begging, begging for help over and over and over again. Biden, for his part, has insisted there will be no U.S. troops on the ground in Ukraine. He says that Zelensky's relentless pleas for warplanes to close the skies over Ukraine is too risky. Biden said such a thing, and he said it many times, would be a direct conflict between NATO and Russia, and he says that, that would be World War III. Now, there are some U.S. defense officials who say they are kind of puzzled by Zelensky's demand for more warplanes. I mentioned this the other day. Um, these military people in our country say Ukraine isn't often flying the planes it has now. But it is making good use of other weapons that the West is providing, including those Stinger missiles for shooting down helicopters and other aircraft. I don't think a Stinger missile is going to catch a supersonic or even subsonic jet fighter plane. Um...
Now, Zelensky has and will continue to ask the United States and other Western countries for fighter jets, jets or help in establishing a new uh, no-fly zone. But the Biden administration is not going to do that. The Biden administration is looking to send Ukraine, according to an official, quote, more of what's been working well, end quote. I wonder if the Ukrainian people would, would agree that what they have gotten to try to defend themselves against this insane Putin, I wonder if they would agree it's been working well. I, I just don't think so. Um, Congress has already approved about $14 billion in military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine. But it's not enough. You, you can see it's not enough just by watching the video clips that we see on television. This is where I just completely fall apart mentally, emotionally. I don't, you know, I, I, it, it is so frustrating I mean, here is this leader of Ukraine who has truth, honor, and justice, decency, dignity, hope, democracy, totally in his corner. And then the monster in the other corner is a murderous psychopath who, who, who put a president of the United States in office here who doesn't give a shit how many people are killed. who's going to do nothing but continue his bloody assault. And what are we doing? Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com, and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.